Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Propel Virtual Garage with your host, Russ Thetonia. This week we're going to be talking about light installation, installing the new Endeavor light kits on um, this episode we are going to do Endeavor 1. Okay, we'll do Endeavor 1 first and then I'll make another one for Endeavor 2 because they're slightly different. Very similar, slightly different. Um, okay, without further ado, let's do it. Okay, first thing I want to do is we'll just go over the light kit, what comes in it, what all the pieces are and whatnot. Okay, so when you open your kit, you'll find on top you have your hardware with a couple sticky pads, some replacement hardware and a couple of zip ties. Um, this is the piece that holds your rear light on. Um, you'll have your new badge. You'll have your converter. You'll have a tail light, which is rechargeable. I'll mention now the tail light is rechargeable. The headlights run off the power switch on the front badge. Uh, a USB charging cable for your tail light. And of course, your two headlights. Okay, that's the kit. Let's get back to the board. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here to make it easier to get at these side bolts so we can mount the lights is actually just drop that front end real quick. So standard, you guys know this routine, the six in the top and the four underneath. Okay, and take those out. Tap from underneath just to push that bolt out. Okay. And just drop the suspension. Whoa, the board's not strapped in. <laughs> uh, give me a sec. Just throw a wrap on this. No, actually, I can't. So I'm going to shut the camera off now and I'm going to remove the deck and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these two four millimeters out and mount the lights on each side. I'll do this side first. These screws have Loctite, so use your butane torch, give them a little heat first, and they'll come out like butter. Like butter. Torchy torch, and back her out. Okay. Now I'm not gonna grab that screw for obvious reasons. I'm gonna let that sit right there for a second. I'm gonna do the top one. Still kind of toasty. Okay, once you have those red hot screws removed, you take the two screws out of the hardware kit that it came with, which are the same screw, it's just a little bit longer, okay? The reason for the length is we have to make up for the thickness of the shaft, okay? We want to keep the same structural integrity in here. So we're going to make up for the thickness of the shaft by using a slightly longer screw. Again, those are provided in your hardware pack. So with your two longer screws, just simply mount those back up. For those of you that like to use Loctite, this is a great place to use it. Um, I take my boards apart and put them together so often that I don't, and I'm constantly in here going through them, so I really don't bother with it myself. Um, but I know many of you do. And again, if you want to use power tools instead of hand tools like I'm doing here, you can as well. It's just that... I like feeling this stuff, uh, especially if it's the first time putting a new screw in. You know, if I have a screw that just came out of that hole, I have a little more confidence in it. But with a new screw, I like to take my time, make sure it gets threaded, threaded right. And... Okay. I'll give those a good tighten. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Okay. And once you have that done, I'll change the camera angle and we'll move into the into the inside and start wiring this thing. 
Okay, so here we are, and again, I apologize for earlier when I was pulling the front end off. I normally I would take my time and show you, you know, remove the 12 screws, remove your deck, um, but I had already taken the screws out to save time, and I just had to pull the deck off because I didn't strap it down, so when I took the weight of the front end off, the whole board just wanted to flip off the bench. So sorry about that, but that's what that was all about. Now the deck is off, the board is strapped down, next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this badge, okay? So I'm going to get my screw gun for this and just pull these four four millimeters out put them in your dish okay put those are my little my little dish there take the badge put that aside and just wedge this rubber gasket out pull okay remove that and then take your new badge with its new rubber gasket. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our, oops, nope, no, we're not. Wrong badge. Okay. Is we're going to just feed that through the hole and into the hole and squeeze it down nice, nice. Okay. Do not mount this yet. It does, you, you do not want this mounted yet. Okay. This has to stay up like this. You'll see why in a second. Okay, now it's a little tough to see, but you have this slot up in here, which is the channel down into the main body. So you're going to take your little pigtail and just feed it in there and feed it right through till it pops out on the inside. There she goes. Okay, nice and neat like that. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we're going to get a little crafty here. You see this little tube that I have in my vise? You'll notice it comes in the pack. It only comes in the, in the Endeavor 1 pack because the Endeavor 2 doesn't need it. Um, but with the Endeavor 1, what you need to do is you need to make a channel in the bushing for the wire. Now you can avoid all this and simply buy the bushing that you use, buy an extra one, but buy a rear. I say buy a rear because the rear bushing already comes with a hole in it that would work for this. So if you can't be bothered with this, even though it only takes two seconds, but if you can't be bothered with this, you can always just buy an extra bushing uh, when you order your light kit. But what you do, uh, what I do is this little, this little tube here, it's sharpened on one end, you'll notice. It's designed to go on the bushing like that and tap it down and kind of carve out a U-channel. But that can be kind of dangerous with your fingers down there and it get, comes out kind of sloppy. So what I did is I just found another way to use it still as a tool. But I put it in my vise, give it a good little cinch there, take your butane torch and get that thing glowing red. It takes about a minute, not even. Okay, and once you've done that, just take your bushing, push it right against it. Do not breathe the smoke. Keep it there, keep it there, give yourself a nice good channel. Sometimes you have to do this twice to get the channel deep enough. You might be able to get it in one shot here this time though. I think that'll be plenty. Okay, so what I like to do is just tap it real quick just to get that plastic flat up there. And you can trim that excess off later. And I'll return to the bench. Okay, in this next step, you remember before I told you you don't want to um, lock this down yet, right? So we got our lights mounted, we got our pigtail run through. Now we can lock this down, but not until we can plug the lights in. The reason you have to plug the lights in first is because of this little lip right here, okay? Because of this little lip, once the badge is pushed down, you won't be able to plug them in, okay? That little lip also holds everything nice and secure so they don't come unplugged. So you lift this just a little bit. You know, your, your cord is naturally straight down. Come to the front, then to the inside and up to the side and plug it in. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Bring it up on the inside. Plug it in. Little XT30 connectors are nice. Okay. Once those are plugged in, then you can just squish everything down. The two long bolts, again, go in the top, and the shorter ones go in the bottom, and those are going into the bushing, so you're going to want to hold the back. Screw, get one or two of these started so everything lines up, 
There she is. There we go. Where's my gun? Pull the back of the bushing. Okay, the top one. Screw gun's way too strong right now. Okay, then hold the back of the bushing on this one again. Come on. There we go. That's that. Okay. Now let's wire this thing. Okay, so now to wire the converter. This is probably the easiest part. You're going to see we have two different ends that are going to match up, okay? You've got an XT30, which is yellow, and then you have a little two pin connector there, which matches the pigtail that you fed through on the front end, okay? You'll notice coming off the back side of the battery, you also have an XT30 male, which is going to match up with your female. So, first thing I like to do is run everything in its channels, okay? I like to tuck everything along the sides, make it as neat as I can. I'm going to mount this right behind the VESC. I'm going to use one of those sticky tabs in the hardware pack to hold it in place. And then I'm going to run um, this one down this side to the front. And then I'll take this pigtail and pull it along this side because this one's a little thicker and I have a lot of wires over here. That's the only reason I'm doing that side to that side. Okay, and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I feed this wire underneath all the other wires. Get, make it nice and neat. Don't get everything all tangled. Take your time to take the wires. Now take this one and feed it underneath all your, you know, your wires coming from your other motor and the um, power wires. You want to feed that in there nice and clean. Make it its own little route all along the outside, not disturbing anything that's already there. Okay, put it underneath and pull everything in here and put that right along the outside. Tuck that there underneath the strap, underneath the strap. Okay, pull it through and make that connection. Okay. Tuck that in nice, 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 nice. Get my sticky pad. I've got one right here. Well, this is just a two-sided stick pad, that's all. So, take them both off. Okay, take both sides off. And then stick that to the bottom of your converter and stick that to the bottom of the board behind your VESC, making sure all your wires are nice and clean. You're not pinching anything, you're not touching anything, pushing up against anything. No, no wires are bent too hard. Okay, when you find that spot, just push it down and that's where it's gonna be, okay? Now you take your power wire, which you had run up the other side, and where'd my pigtail go? There it is. Connect it to the XT30. Oops. Okay. And tuck that all in nice and neat. Now for the moment of truth, power. We have light. Okay, and now I'm just going to quickly assemble this front end. Um, you've seen it before in a bunch of different videos, so I'm just going to do it and fast forward right through this. Okay, now last and but not least, the tail light. You take your tail light mounting piece like this, okay? And the first thing you do is you take your four badge bolts up. So easy, okay? Now you just lift your top badge. And be careful because you get the wires from your start button there, remember? Now make sure your tab is facing up, okay? You want that little tab facing up. And it slides in. And you just line those four holes up with the four holes in the badge and put your screws back in.
Okay, that's that. Now we grab our light. We've got one right here. Okay, and you'll see the light has a little notch. It just slides right down in that groove, just like that. Just slide it in, and that's all there is to it, okay? To get it out, you just push this tab like this and slide it up, okay? Now on the back, on one side, that's a push button to turn it on and off, okay? And the other side, you flip that open, and that's where your USB goes to recharge it, okay? So, that's the kit. So, that, so that's it. Now I'm just gonna pick up the shop, and uh, we'll get it ready to go in, get myself a bite to eat, come back out, and I'll do the Endeavor 2 tutorial for you guys. So until then, ride hard, Ride safe and ride propel.